My work is concerned with black religiosity. It deals with essentially my relationship with Christianity and how it relates to the black experience. I do a variety of recreations of Renaissance paintings or uh, biblical stories to speak to certain topics within the diaspora. Lately I've been experimenting with materiality, using different materials and printing techniques to sort of speak to the temporality of what I'm doing and the people within the images and the stories. The result is this dilapidated image that looks like a relic. The underrepresented, the disinherited, the underclass, these are all people that I relate to. It's how black people are perceived within modern society. So for me, it's sort of deifying these people, sort of my way of elevating these people and you know glorifying them and putting them in the positions of power within image making. I'm always taking pictures and I like to think that I'm always looking for a painting Growing up, I didn't have many experiences dining. And when I started dining, I wanted to recreate this moment like over and over again. I work primarily in oils, capturing a lot of different memories that I just feel the need to document just to keep track that it happened. And I don't see a lot of imagery of lived in moments when pertaining to my particular demographic the absence of these lost moments in media is what really inspired me to start sharing these parts of myself. Where I create from is a place of love and adoration, and that's not anything new, but it's one of those things that like, it hasn't always been present throughout history. And so like, I just make sure that like, that's, that's, what, that's what I have to offer. I'm a multidisciplinary artist, and at the moment my practice is focused on intimacy and the idea of looking for a long time at something and how it begins to reveal itself. My Infinity series requires the viewer to hold them and to look slowly. That's what I'm looking for, a slow gaze. We're all in relation. I want to reflect the infinite emotions and moments that we have, from the mundane to the extravagant and excellence. Within this series, I can live in fantasy and my projections for what I want to see through the world. My mind is like the Kodak instant film. When I see that moment, my brain just goes and it's locked in and I don't forget them. I want these to feel more like paintings, my first love being impressionist paintings. The possibilities I feel are endless, just like a painter with a canvas.